Hi everyone, Zoe here from Make It Crafty. Today we're working on Edwin and we're working on some pleats. I'm using my new Make It Color uh, blending card and we've already done his face, we've done his vest and so now we're going to do his pants. And I'm going to be using the cool range of um, greys and the colours or the numbers in particular are C2, C4, C5, C7 and C9. Obviously you can use what you have. Um, it's best not to use black because it, unless you're using it very sparingly or you're doing tip to tip. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my C4, which is not my lightest but enough for me to be able to see and, and work with. Um, and we're going to start working on how we're going to do his pleats. Now I wanted to show you some, some tricks that I do and what I'm looking for when I start deciding how I'm going to do my pleats. First off, we've got this line across here and I'm going to assume that there's a bit of a crease there from, from his pants. So I'm just going to put some lines in here like so. And the next thing that I look for are like these lumps here. And what I like to do is not go quite to the edge. I come in from a little bit and that becomes my crease. So that will get worked later, but this is just an indication for me. And I'm going to do the same for this one here and bring it out that way. And this here, I'm going to say that this is going to be a little bit of a highlight, so I'm going to bring in some shading into the corner here. And this one here, I'm going to have that as that it's a shadow because it's going to be light on this side. So I'm going to have a shadow on that side and a shadow here and bring that out here. And I'm actually going to have that like in my other image, I brought that right across to go with that little um, bump there. I'm calling them bumps now. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with this one over here. So I'm going to bring that and I'm just going to bring that one up. And then we'll do the same here. And bring this to this bump here. And we've got this little bump here. So we'll just bring that across there. And I'm going to put some shadow in here. And there's going to be a highlight just above that. So I'm just going to bring that across there. So you can see I just really have no idea what I'm doing. And I just do stuff. <laughs> um, so I've decided that I want these to be really wrinkly. So let's bring another one across like that. And let's bring another one in here. We've got a little bit of an indication there, so we'll bring that across like that. And he's going to have some creases here. And bring in a crease over here. I'll bring in another one over here. And I'll bring another crease over here. And I'm going to have that as sort of a highlight there. So we'll just put a little one here. All right. Um, yeah, let's just start with that. And then we'll, um, we'll add some more later. So we've got C4, that was C4. Now I'm going to come in with my C7. So I'm jumping C5, I'm coming to C7. And I'm going to start adding in some darker areas. It's always very fine. I work in layers, so I just do a small amount at a time. Okay. 
I'm going to come in with C5 this time and start working that out. I'm going to move my paper around just to make it easier for me. I'm going to come in with C4 now. Start getting closer to the areas that need to be coloured. And I can start joining some areas. Now I'm going to come in with C2 and just colour in all these other areas because then I can work out what areas I need to fix. Sometimes you just can't see it until it's all coloured. Okay, so I'm going to come in with C5 and just add some areas that need colour. I'm going to come in with C9 just to get some depth in some of the darker places. I'm really only going right into the corners of areas. So it is used sparingly. Come back in with C7 because it is they're looking a little bit too grey at the moment, so I want them a little bit darker. Okay, coming back with C5. Come in with C4. Some of these areas need to be darkened up a bit more. With C2, just to sort of blending it, but you're not going over everything. You're sort of just going over the edges of where those highlights are. Um, and just going to start with my C7 because I know that I want quite a dark crease there. I'm going to work with my C5 and bring that out. And then bring in my C4 to go all the way around like so. And then his pocket. C7 just up in the fold there. Same here. 
what is it on the top there? Okay, and C5, just to spread that a little bit. Because I'm working in a small area, I'm just doing some dots, and then C4 to finish that one off. Okay, so the last thing is, hopefully that wasn't out of focus then, or out of camera view. I wasn't looking, sorry. Um, the last thing is the little bottoms of his pants. And again, I'm going to start with my C7. And I'm just going to bring one up like so. Another one in here. And bring that across. Same here. Like so. Come in with C5. And that's it. That's his pants. I'll just um, see if we can do a zoom up. So that's not too bad. There we go. Okay. So, and that's how I do my creases. So I'm going to leave it there. And um, hopefully you've picked up some tips today. And... I'm looking forward to um, seeing what you come up with. Do contact me and let me know if you've been playing around and experimenting. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.